Hello guys, this is Tyre and today we'll take a look on the nav mesh. So I set up this little level by Pro Builder. It's a package on Unity. Pretty good one. Okay, so let's start. First, you're going to Window, AI, hit Navigation. You will get this window. And then you want to select the objects that you want to be walkable on your level. So if I selected the plane here, the stairs, went there to object and click on walkable. So now I already did that, but first it was Will be unchecked like that so you would check that and make it walkable now you go to bake hit bake and you see the blue area is the area that our agent can walk on and the non-blue area is the area that our agent cannot walk on so here's our agent the one i set it it's like an empty game object now it doesn't have anything except of course the renderer as you can see like now he can move under the arc he can go up the stairs and he cannot walk on the pool but for example i don't want him to walk under this arc so what i can do is i make my agent higher so let's make him like four on the height and hit bake now you can see that he cannot walk under the arc because he's too tall now here's the stairs like let's say for example i don't want him to climb the stairs so what can i do i can try to decrease the step height and make it low like 0.2 and see yes as you can see now he cannot go up on the stairs and the last thing i want him not to be able to go on this ramp so what i can do is decreasing the max slope make it 20 and as you can see now he cannot go on the ramp and you can read more about that in this unity documentation and tells you more about this stuff okay let's set up our agent here i select the agent go to inspector i will add the nav mesh agent and i'm going to add a script that i wrote i'm going to show you now i called it ai movement i'm going to create a sphere for the target for our agent and i'll make it a bit smaller 0.3 i'll make it is trigger but this is not important it's just that our agent doesn't collide with it now in the script i added to the agent i'm going to double click just to see what's inside it's a very simple script so i made a transform serialized field it's the target then we have nav mesh agent and here we can use ai instead of doing this so you can do it both ways in the awake function getting the component of the nav mesh here and then in update we are calling this function that is setting the destination of our agent to the position of our target okay uh, now i'm going to to drag the sphere to the target here and I'm going to hit play as you can see our agent just went to the sphere as you see avoiding the obstacle in the middle it cannot go through the arc here he cannot go up on the stairs because I already changed the settings so he cannot but let's now change the settings again yes now he can do all this stuff but before we um, start let's take a look on this manual voxel size it's basically as you can see here on the stairs it's not attached to the stairs but if you made this like 0.01 it will tell you that this is expensive and high for the build and stuff like that but if you hit bake you're gonna see that it matches the stairs so that's if you want to make it very accurate okay but I'm gonna undo that yeah let's try so I'm gonna drag my sphere here on the stairs and yep as you can see here he works on the stairs let's say i want him to be able to drop from the stairs to the ground or jump between these two stands so what we can do is i click on both stands here and i go to object and i click on generate of mesh links and then i increase the drop height and the jump distance a little bit so now as you can see he can jump from here to there or from there to here and he can drop himself from those places so let's try Okay, so let's take the sphere. And now if he was like here, and then I want him to go there, he jumps. Very cool. Now let's try the dropping. So nice okay so that's it for today lastly i would really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel it would encourage me to do similar videos in the future thanks for watching bye